Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. This guide shows you how to add or remove stuff to and from the send to menu. So the send to menu is where you right click on a document you've got send to here and you can send it to any of those destinations there. Obviously these might come in handy from time to time but may not in others so you might want to add certain areas to the send to menu. So as I say this guide shows you how you can do that. So if say for instance we wanted to add a shortcut to a folder onto the send to menu then all we need to do is hold down the windows key now the windows key is on the bottom row of keys on your keyboard usually between the control or ctl rl key and the alt key it's denoted by the windows flag so hold this down and press the letter r r for romeo and then you should get this run box come up once you've got that come up let go of both keys so we need to type shell colon send to that's shell colon send to just like it's shown on the screen then click OK you'll now get this window appear so all we need to do is let's just move that window to one side and say for instance we wanted to I don't know do a shortcut to the pictures folder there so in the left hand side of the uh, the explorer box that's opened with a send to menu we've got pictures there so i'm just going to move my mouse over pictures and then hold the right mouse button down and then move across to this main area here and just anywhere on the uh, a blank area just let go of the right mouse button and then left click create shortcuts here there we go, so we've now put a shortcut to pictures. So, say for instance, if I go into the downloads folder and I've got some pictures there and I wanna send them to the pictures folder, all we need to do is just right click on the picture, go down to send to, and go down to pictures shortcut and left click, click pictures shortcut. And it will keep a copy in the downloads folder, but if we go into pictures there, there you go, it saved a copy in the pictures folder. If we wanted to put a shortcut to our, I don't know, our works folder, say if we've got this important work folder, we can do the same thing. So just hold down the Windows key, then tap the letter R when this menu appears, let go of both keys, and then type shell colon send to. That's shell colon send to. It's probably already in there if that's the last thing you typed in there. So just click on OK. And then all we need to do is, let's just move this documents window over a bit so I can see it. Again, same thing, move your mouse over the folder that you want to add to the send to. Hold down the right mouse button and drag it across to the send to window and just move it to any blank area. Then let go of the right hand key on the mouse and then move your mouse down to create shortcuts here and then left click once. And there we go, important work then appears. So. If I've say want for instance wanted to move something into important work, let's just go to my downloads folder. I've got this expensive doc expenses document here that I want to move. So just right click on expenses document, go down to send to, and then go down to important work shortcut left click, and there you go. It sent a copy there. If I go into documents now and into important work, there you go. There's the expenses document in there, and we can delete out these from the downloads folder. Once uh, we've done that, let's just do that. And these will stay in the places we've sent them to. There you go, there's the expenses document and there's the picture that I saved earlier. If you wanted to remove anything from the send to menu, again, all we do is hold down the Windows key, tap the letter R, then when this menu appears, let go. Type in there shell colon send to, then click OK and that will open up this window here and anything we want to delete all we do is just click once on it so if I wanted to delete this pictures shortcut here go up to delete up the top there left click once and that goes if I wanted to delete this important work shortcut again can do that click on the uh, important work shortcut and I can click on delete or if you haven't got that up there just right click on it 
and then left click delete from there and that gets rid of it. You can also delete any of those if you don't use them. Say for instance, like I don't use fax recipient, so I'm just gonna click on fax recipient, click on delete and there you go, that gets rid of that from there. So there you go, that guide showed you how to add and remove stuff to the send to in Windows 10. Thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.